Hey, I'm Kathy Harding. We are in the Civil Newsroom. Um, good of you to come to our website. Hey, I'm Kathy Harding, and we are in the Seaville Newsroom. Good of you to come to our website. And uh, we hope that you'll read all the blogs and stories we have here. Uh, and we hope that you will read all the blogs and stories we have here. Will Goldsmith, sitting here with me, news editor. He's got this week's cover story. Will Goldsmith, sitting here with me, news editor. He's got this week's cover story. About a um, very controversial issue, uh, middle school football, mm -hmm. we kid. About a very controversial issue middle school football, we kid. It turns out that actually there's an educational philosophy that informs the decision to have disbanded middle school football and now to bring it back again. It turns out actually there's educational philosophy that informs the decision to disband middle school football and uh, now to bring it back again. So tell us about that a little bit. Sure, about 35 years ago the city schools decided to go from a junior high model to a middle school model. And so uh, tell us about that. Sure. About 35 years ago, city schools decided to go from junior high model to a middle school model. Uh, junior high, what you would expect, it's a little version of high school, but they're basically treated like high schoolers. Junior high is what you'd expect. It's a little version of high school, but they're basically treated like high schoolers. With the middle school model, it was trying to gear more towards the developmental needs of the 10 to 14 year olds. With the middle school model, it was geared more towards the deve developmental needs of the 10 to 14 year olds. And so with that they wanted to de-emphasize competition kind of up the ante with academics. Sports had a place but it was an intramural place. So with that they wanted to de-emphasize competition kinda up the ante with ac academics. Sports had a place but it was an intramural place. Mm -hmm. um, so now the tide seemed to have, have shifted uh, particularly with Rosa Atkins coming in back in as superintendent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now the tide seems to have shifted, particularly with Rosa Atkins coming back in as superintendent. Uh, several school board members being uh, for it. Uh, now it seems that um, they put $28,000 into the budget two years ago for sports to make a comeback at Buford. Several school board members being for it. Now it seems that they've put $28,000 in the budget two years ago for sports to make a comeback at Buford. Uh, they opened up with basketball last year, and this is the first year that they have a football team. They opened up with basketball last year, and this is the year they have a football team. And so far, they're uh, trying to find that balance between having a kind of competitive program, but also making sure that the kids are fulfilling their academic needs as well. And so far, they're trying to find a place. They're trying to find that balance between having kind of a competitive program, but also making sure that the kids are fulfilling their academic needs as well. And yeah, of course you went to uh, a couple of the early games. Mm -hmm. It sounded like it was a lot of fun. And of course you went to a couple of the early games. Of course you did. It sounds like it was a lot of fun. Sure, yeah, no, the kids, uh, it's it's a learning team. It's still got a long way to go, right. but uh, they seem to be having fun and, and I don't think that the scoreboard got in the way of that. Sure, it's a learning team. Still got a long way to go. But they seem to be having fun, and I don't think that the scoreboard got in the way of that. Reading your story reminded me of what Yogi Berra said about Little League, which is that it's good because it keeps the parents off the streets. Reading your story reminded me of what Yogi Berra said about Little League, which is that it's good because it keeps parents off the street. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Indeed. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next week. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next week.